Hindley Vocabulary, Lesson 8, Part 1. Now we're moving on to third declension adjectives. And the first word we come across is grawis e. This word's easier to remember if you think of the word grave, because it means heavy, severe, or serious. Now be careful, if you put grave as the translation for this word, you probably won't see that in the answer key. Next word is brewis e. Eh? This word's easy to remember if you think of the word brief, because it means short. And then we have communis e. Eh? This word's pretty easy. You can kind of see what it means in the stem. It means common. And then we have difficilis e. Eh? You can also see the meaning of this word in the stem. It means difficult. Then we have faculis e. Eh? This word means easy. Then we have fortis e. Eh? Now I, I like to think of a, a fort, kind of like in the, in the military, because that's where you find brave or strong people. So if you can think of the word fort, when you see fortis, then you might think of brave or strong. Then we have nobilis, eh? Another that you can see the meaning of it in, because it means noble or renowned. Then we have omnis, eh? This word's easy to remember if you think of what God is, because a lot of times we say words like omnipresent or omnipotent or omniscient, all of those words have omne at the beginning of them. And that's because all of those words start with all. All present, all, all powerful, all knowing. Omnis e means all or every. Now you know where we got that. Then we have cupidus, a uh, um. Cupidity means that's in, in, is an English word that means that someone is eager or desirous. And this Latin word means eager or desirous. Now, with these next, this, ad, this adjective and the next three ad, adjectives, we have to be careful because these are governing adjectives, which means that you'll also have to memorize what case they govern. So this says adjective with the genitive case. So we'll have to memorize that cupidus a uh, um governs with the, the genitive case. And then we have plenus. If you think of plenty, then it's easier to remember that this word means full. And this adjective governs with genitive or ablative. Fenitimus a um. I'm not sure why, but this word re reminds me of the word fence. Now, often <laughs> a fence is used to separate your property with the next guy's property. Fenitimus a um means neighboring or next. This adjective governs with the dative case. Now note that this is the only adjective that doesn't govern with the genitive case. So when you're translating from English to Latin and you want to put one of these words in, if you're not using this one from these four adjectives, then you'll know that it can probably govern with the genitive case. And then we have similis. Eh? You can see this one in the stem. Similis looks like the word similar or like. And this word governs with the genitive once again or the dative. All right, so let's go back through our vocabulary words and see if we can remember what they mean. So we have gravis, eh? This word means heavy, severe, or serious. Brevis, eh? This word means short. Not short as in height, more like short as in time-wise. We have communis, eh? This word means common. Difficilis, eh? This word means difficult. Facilis, eh? This means easy, as in easy to do. Fortis, eh? Brave or strong. Nobilis, eh? 
means noble or renowned. Omnis e. All or every. Then we have cupidus a um. Remember, so this is the first of our governing adjectives. So this word means eager or desirous, but it also governs with the genitive case. Then we have plenus a um. This word means full, and it governs with the genitive or the ablative. Then we have finitimus a um. Remember, this word means neighboring or next, and it governs with the dative case. And then we have similis e. This word means similar or like, and it governs with the genitive or the dative case. And there we go. So that's the first part of lesson eight, working with our third declension adjectives. Just work hard to memorize those adjectives and be sure to pay close attention to those governing adjectives.